Hey, welcome back. In this episode, we're going to learn about Azure AD Connect. My name is Sushant Sudesh and I'm your trainer for this AZ303 certification course. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. Let us start with understanding why should you use Azure AD Connect? Integrating your on-premises directories with Azure AD makes your users more productive by providing a common identity for accessing both cloud and on-premises resources. So let's look into some of the advantages. Users can use a single identity to access on-premises applications and cloud services such as Office 365. Another advantage is single tool to provide an easy deployment experience for synchronization and sign-in. Another advantage is Azure AD Connect provides the newest capabilities for your scenarios. And Azure AD Connect replaces all the versions of identity integration tools such as Directory Sync and Azure AD Sync. And Azure AD Connect is the Microsoft tool designed to meet and accomplish your hybrid identity goals. So let's look at some of the features of Azure AD Connect. Azure AD Connect lets you enable password hash synchronization, which is a sign-in method that synchronizes a hash of a user's on-premises AD password with Azure AD. Another feature is pass-through authentication. This is a sign-in method that allows users to use the same password on-premises and in the cloud, but doesn't require the additional infrastructure of a federated environment. Third feature is Federation integration. This federation is an optional part of Azure AD Connect and can be used to configure a hybrid environment using an on-prem ADFS infrastructure. It also provides ADFS management capabilities such as a certificate renewal and additional ADFS server deployments. Fourth feature is synchronization abilities. This feature is responsible for creating users, groups, and other objects, as well as making sure identity information for your on-premises users and groups is matching the cloud. This synchronization also includes password hashes. Another feature is ability to monitor the health of Azure AD Connect. So Azure AD Connect Health can provide robust monitoring and provide a single location in the Azure portal to view this activity. Now let's look into how you can install Azure AD Connect. One way of installing Azure AD Connect is to download Azure AD Connect tool from the Azure, from the Azure portal. So I'm on my Azure portal. Go to Azure AD, under Manage, scroll down to Azure AD Connect. As you can see that I have installed Azure AD Connect and the sync status is enabled. And you can see that the password has sync also enabled. So this is where you would be able to download the tool and install on your on-premises AD. Another way is to download Azure AD Connect directly. So I'm going to show you how to download Azure AD Connect. Go to the Microsoft Download Center and you can find the details of the version number and what are the requirements on where you can install this tool and the install instructions. And basically download this tool and install it. When you install it, there are two ways of installing it. First one is Azure AD Connect Express Settings. This is used when you have a single forest topology and password hash synchronization for authentication. Express setting is the default option and is used for the most commonly deployed scenario. The second method is Azure AD Connect Custom Settings, which is used when you want more options for the installation. It is used if you have multiple forests or if you want to configure optional features not covered in the Express installation. It is used in all cases where the Express installation option does not satisfy your deployment or topology. Now let's look into what are the configuration features you can enable in your Azure AD Connect. Azure AD Connect comes with several features you can optionally turn on or are enabled by default. Some features might sometimes require more configuration in certain scenarios and topologies. 
the first one is filtering filtering is used when you want to limit which objects are synchronized to azure ad by default all users contacts groups and windows 10 computers are synchronized and you can change the filtering based on domains or use or attributes second is password hash synchronization password hash synchronization synchronizes the password hash in active directory to azure ad then we have password wipe back this allows your users to change and reset their passwords in the cloud and have your on premises password policy applied another feature is device wipe back this allows a device registered in azure ad to be written back to on premises active directory so it can be used for conditional access and azure ad can be turned on for automatic updates which is enabled by default for express settings installation and ensures your azure ad connect is always up to date with the latest release that concludes this episode in the next video we're going to talk about single sign on i will see you in the next one until then take care